Well, driving through the grapevine has also been pretty tricky. That section of the five freeway was closed early this morning because of snow and ice. It reopened just before noon, but drivers had to be escorted by CHP. KCON 9's Rachel Kim has the very latest on conditions there. Around 11:30 this morning, the five freeway was reopened through the grapevine between Castaic and Lebec after it was closed five hours earlier because of heavy snow, fog, and icy roadways. But it was slow going as the CHP ran brakes and escorted cars and trucks to keep traffic moving at safe speeds. It's not the snow that we're so worried about; it's when it freezes over, and 90% uh, of the freeway can look good. But if that 10% is still frozen, then uh, it's unsafe. As soon as everybody hits that, then they're going to go spinning. Officer Anthis says they'll continue running escorts until they feel it's safe to open it back up completely. But they're also prepared to shut down the grapevine again as our area braces for a major storm coming in tonight. We're hoping to keep it open as long as we can, uh, but the, the weather will tell. We were worried about our trip being canceled, but luckily like it wasn't closed, so we finally got here safely and... Here we are. <laughs> Rebecca Kohler and her family left Bakersfield around noon and said they didn't mind the 30 mile per hour trip behind a CHP escort to get to Fraser Park. Never speed, especially in this condition. So just always take your time. We'll only be here like maybe three more hours and then just go before it gets dark and cold. It's beautiful. I love it. Seeing snow for the first time made the three plus hour trip worth it for Maria Flores, who came up from Hawthorne with her family. There were some roads that were closed. The number f the freeway five was closed, so we had to like make a lot of turns to get here, but we're here. Maria and her family also plan to leave before it gets dark because they don't want to get stranded if the grapevine is closed again. As the next storm approaches, the CHP has this advice for drivers who plan to be in the area. If you can avoid this week, then I, I definitely would. If you have to make the trip, uh, just be prepared. Officer Anthes says being prepared means making sure you have a full tank of gas, checking your tire pressure, and driving slowly, keeping a safe distance between you and the vehicles in front of you. Reporting from Lebec, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.